Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 147, Upgrading Your Portal. I'm often asked about what it takes to keep a portal up to date. In this tip, I'll cover the three main components of a Power Apps Portal, and what the options are for updating each of them. A Power Apps Portal implementation has three key pieces in the architecture. There is the portal code that is running in an Azure web app and managed by Microsoft. There are the portal Dataverse solutions that contain tables, columns, and processes. And there is the portal template data itself that is imported into those tables when a portal is first installed. The portal code is maintained automatically for you by Microsoft. It is updated on a regular basis, roughly on a monthly cadence. If you want to be on the bleeding edge, you can go to the Power Apps Portals Admin Center and check the Enable Portal for Early Upgrade checkbox, which will put your portal at the front of the line when it comes to upgrades. You cannot, however, prevent Microsoft from upgrading your portal as part of their regular updates. On the other hand, you are in control when it comes to the portal solutions. Microsoft will never upgrade your portal solutions automatically for you, since in theory this could impact the customizations in your Dataverse environment. Instead, you must manually check and approve that new solutions will be installed. This is done in the Power Platform Admin Center by using the Check Portals Packages for Upgrade button. We'll get into the details of this process in our next tip. As mentioned, since upgraded solutions are being installed as part of this process, it's best to try this in a development environment to ensure that there are no negative repercussions. Finally, there is all the data that is copied into your Dataverse environment when you install one of the portal templates. This includes website rows, web pages, site settings, web templates, etc. There is no process to update this data. If Microsoft updates one of their templates, you'd have to install that template into a separate environment, then manually merge any changes into your own. This makes sense, since it would be difficult if not impossible to know what data should be merged in, and the risk of overriding your work is just too high to have any sort of automated data merge process. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 147 on upgrading your portal useful.